Yo, 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 what is going on, IK Familia? It is your boy BN, a.k.a. Mr. Kingdom Builder, and oh my gosh, it has been a minute. Boys and girls, what I wanted to talk about today was where is the best place to spend your green gems? Now, specifically, what we're going to talk about today is where do you spend them after you have hit VIP 15? And this is really important in my view because there was a lot of debate I was having and even amongst some of uh, my peers and some of our players in 79 and a few others to try and get their feedback on where did they feel right was the best place. You've hit VIP 15, right? You've spent all your green gems along with your VIP. And if you have bought anything or just went like the super long free-to-play route, you have finally got here. What do you do next? Before we dive in, make sure you guys sub, like, of course, ring that notification bell. And if you want to be a part of our conversation, you can join our Discord, which you can find in the pinned comment or in the description down below. Okay. Green gems. As you can see, I got a bunch. Now, when, in, in addition to this, when is the best time to spend green gems, right? That's going to be the second layer. When is the best time and where do you spend them? So the best time to spend green gems is during the Monopoly event, right? This is just hands down the best place to spend your green gems. The reason why is because when you spend your green gems on this event, you end up getting free rewards just for spending them. Right, So the event is called Wonderful Journey. And just to give you a, a brief example of what the event looks like right here. I will show it to you if I can effortlessly. Let's just do this here. We'll go over to BAM. So here's a, here, here's a video I did. Let me mute this real quick. Right, So here, this is the spending reward portion of Wonderful Journey. And let's fast track. And then you'll see here, right? So you spend a thousand green gems, you get a roll. Now, every time you do a roll, you're going to land on some points. You also get some free, uh, you get some tier based rewards here up to 1500. But the point is that this is like a rocks more than gems event for those of you that have played rock, right? This is an event where you basically need to wait before you spend green gems. Doesn't matter how excited you may be. Wait until this event comes around. Now, from what we've heard, this event usually comes around once a month. Um, from our calendar, we have not had it back yet. I have to wait until the next Sunday to see if it's going to come eventually. Uh, pass, this would probably not be until the 19th at the earliest if it did come that soon, but it'll probably be more like the 20th just because you don't see any other kind of connecting days. Though there could be some one day offs on the 19th too, so that's a possibility um, when the next week's calendar spawns this upcoming Sunday. Now, the reason again you wait for this event is because when you spend your green gems, you get free rewards. Pretty simple. But now it comes down to where do you spend green gems, right? After you have hit. VIP 15. And before we even get there, we'll touch a little bit on where, what I think good value is, right? Uh, when you're just spending your green gems initially. In my opinion, you should really be spending your green gems on VIP, right? Now, some people will make an argument that it is better or it's possibly is equal to spending your green gems on Philosopher's Stones. Now, you can do that, right? And every 2,700 gems will get you a nine pool, because again, three times nine is 27. So you'll be able to do a bunch of nine pools, right, if you have, you know, 10, 15, 20k green gems, right? I could probably do a bunch right now. But the thing about it is that, as we've talked about, VIP, I think, is absolutely important, right? Some of the pinnacles here is just hitting VIP 10, because then you get the Daily Philosopher Stone, Right, you get research and building speed ups, dragon speed ups. You get far. You you get your basic resource speed production, and then eventually you'll get dwelling, which is going to increase your gold speed. Right, you'll get AP limits, SP limits, increase gathering speed. Eventually, you'll get uh, stats for your immortals. I mean, the VIP bonuses are nothing to gawk at. And even if you look at just VIP 15, right, which is where I'm at now, 
you can see immortal troop number plus 500. This is going to allow for more skill damage to be used based on the amount of troops and the overall health that you have for your marches. In addition to doing more increased gathering. It's a win-win. You get amazing base stats, which are almost comparable to if you're like at the top of the nobility boards with some of the title buffs that you'll get there as well, right? Again, 15% on accuracy, base dodge, crit value, right? Uh, resi uh, resistance, we should say, defense, right? And then you also get the increase on in upgrade speed, wounded healing speed, which is great research, troop training, building, resource gathering, right? You get max on your additional 30% bonus that you're getting on your gold production from your dwellings at once they're all at level 40. I mean, again, these are this is nothing to really you know faint at regardless if it's going to take you an extremely long time to do it if you're free to play trust me when i say my thoughts is always pre pre plan for the long right for the long term and so that's how i will always feel about it now that doesn't mean that spending your green gems on things like philosopher stones is bad i i arguably would say that's the next best thing to do but now once you get to vip 15 the thought is, where do you spend your green gems, right? Do I spend my green gems on market pools, for example, getting some of the immortals that I have yet to level? So as an example, right, for those of you who have watched my content for a while, you know my strategy when it comes to market is a little different than others, right? My focus in market has always been to min-max my refresh pools. So I only buy epic immortals every single time they come up it's one of the reasons why i have 735 refresh scrolls in addition to i had almost 2k saved up um, a little while ago before i had an epiphany and ended up stopping but uh, i'll give you an example right so let me show you my immortals right now you can see here that almost all of the immortals that do not cost green gems are almost maxed right the only ones that i don't yet have at max is zenobia which She's cl Oh, wow. I didn't even realize I have all this. Never mind. Instead, I actually have Zenobia Max. Um, so now I just need 30. I need 90 more for the artifact. Okay. Um, and then, uh, again, I, I think I have a few others here. Let me go to Alchemy. I want to say it's maybe... It might be Julius. Yeah. Julius is the next one. So I have him 60. So I need about 64 more to get artifact unlocked. And then, again, 90 for now Zenobia. And then William is the last one. So I have three immortals left out of all of the epic immortals that you can get, right? Where for him, I need... God, if I can do some math here. 164? 164? Right, so I have three immortals left. Now, if we go into the market, you can see where you get all of these... Uh, right, all of these chances here uh, on these here, right, where it says available immortals. Oh, hang on. Oopsies, I'm going to the wrong place. Let me go to Hall... And then we'll go to rewards. So all of these, right, out of, sorry, what is this, 12, 15. So out of 15 of the epic immortals that you can get in market, right, these are just purple gems, right? These ones, or I should say that where, they are, where you're able to get them from purple gems, right? Three of them I'm waiting to max out, right, or fully max with artifact, essentially, right? So that means I've already maxed out 12. So now my thought becomes, okay, well, you know, I don't want to waste my refresh scrolls. So now my idea is coming in more of, I think I need about 100k from when we tested, when I tested Wonderful Journey last time, I needed about 100k green gems in order to get the 1500 tier chest and basically max out the rewards that I could get from that event right? So I'm pretty much above that right now. So my thought when I'm coming to market is, okay, if I'm in market, it's now I think okay for me to use, right? And again, this is only for now. I'm only going to use my refreshes, my free refreshes. And if an immortal comes up that let's say is green gems and I don't have him, I don't know. Okay. So one didn't come up, but if one did, like, let's say William came up and he was green gems or Attila, right? I would buy that, but I would, I'm only going to use it up until my free refreshes. And this is only until the wonderful journey event comes around. Once wonderful journey comes around, then what I am going to do is I'm going to use as many refresh scrolls as I can across, I believe it's a two day event. I'm across this two-day event, and then I'm going to basically just try and get as many green gem immortals as I possibly can, right? And then the rest, 
I will basically use on Philosopher Stones, right? So that's kind of my game plan going in. Now, some can make the argument, you know, it's probably just better just to use them all on Philosopher Stones. You get a bunch of pools. You can upgrade a bunch of talk skills too as well. I mean, even if you just look at my, my I already have 112, right, of the Soul Crystals right now. If I used 130K, right, oh gosh, let me, let's do some math real quick. So let's do 130,000 divided by 2700 I could do I could do 48 nine pools right now right uh, that is a lot essentially um, right that's got well no it'd be 48 times 10 so that'd be 480 immortal shard pools right if you're factoring nine is going to give you 10 pools um, each time right that's a lot. And I basically would just disenchant all of that, then go back into Tower of Knowledge and start buying talk skills. Uh, because again, I haven't done any talk skills yet, because for me, I'm waiting to use all of the purple gems that I can to max the immortals, which I only need three left to do the artifacts on, right? Then I'm like, okay, now I don't need to use any more purple gems for any of these immortals that I need to max their skill on, right? Until they eventually add in some more into the Hall of Immortals, which would be nice. Uh, and hopefully that comes sooner than later. But that's my plan so far on, on what I think, based on where I'm getting good value from, is going to give me the best opportunity because tox skills are, are insanely expensive when it comes to soul crystals. So purchasing the Philo stones, I'm going to get extra pools anyways. I might still get some of those immortals that I still need from any of those pools. And then in addition to that, I'll be able to use the rest into talk while using a portion of the green gems for doing more fishing on the green gem immortals that I have unlocked. So that's kind of my game plan now that I have. I would love to hear what you guys think, right? Let me know in those comments down below. Uh, does this does this seem good to you, right? Is this something that you would possibly apply, apply as well after me kind of walking and talking through it? Have you done something different that you have found good success with, right? And I definitely want to hear both sides of it right if you're free to play right do you like the do you like investing green gems into vip if you are already vip 15 what order do you use your green gems in? i would love to know what you think is of good value as well and again i'm going to definitely read everything in those comments below so thanks in advance for leaving one that is it for me until next time we will catch y'all later